dear students in this question it is given that a voltage v is equals to v not sin omega t is applied to a lcr circuit that means a circuit which has inductance capacitance and resistance in series now we have to derive an expression for the average power dissipated over a cycle and after that there are two parts to the question under it's is being asked under what conditions is part 1 no power dissipated even though current flows through the circuit uh, part 2 is maximum power dissipated in the circuit so this is a, a very scoring question in which uh, it's a question from ac that we have an ac voltage of v is equals to v not sin omega t so let's uh, write what can be the instantaneous power so we can write v instantaneous will be nothing but the instantaneous voltage into the instantaneous current so we already know that this is the instantaneous voltage and similarly the instantaneous current would be something like this i is equals to i not that is the maximum value of current sin of omega t plus 5 so we are assuming that current is uh, ahead of the voltage by a phase difference of 5 so what is 5 5 is very simple there are three types of uh, uh, resistances in the circuit that is uh, the resistance through induct inductance uh, capacitance and resistance so we can say that 5 for this lcr lcr circuit is equal to tan inverse of xc minus xl upon r where this is this has come through the phases that this uh, this is the resistance this is the xc and xc minus xl so this is the impedance the vector sum of all uh, both of them and this angle is phi so we we know the instantaneous current and the instantaneous voltages so what we do is to find the instantaneous power we multiply them so let's write what is the instantaneous power so it would be equal to v not sin of omega t into i not sin of omega t plus phi so we take out the so we say that power is equals to v not into i not sin of omega t into sin of omega t plus phi now in mathematics you already know the identity for two sin a sin b we will apply that here so when we apply that we'll get p is equals to v not i not by 2 and will uh, the two sin a sin a uh, identity will follow that would be cos of phi minus cos of 2 omega t plus phi now we already know that this is a constant and uh, if we now this is the instantaneous power now the average value of a cosine function is zero because a cosine always uh, oscillates between 1 and minus 1 so its average value will be zero so if from this instantaneous power if we wish to find p average mathematically so we can write it is uh, the p average will be equal to v not i not by 2 average value of cos phi will be cos phi only because it's a constant whereas this term would become zero so we'll go to the next page so we have found out that the average power dissipated in this lcr circuit is nothing but v not i not by 2 cosine of phi and always remember what was phi phi is nothing but tan inverse of xc minus xl upon r over here we can write this also as v not by root 2 maximum upon root 2 is the rms value 
so this would be i naught upon root 2 cosine of phi so we can directly write it as vi cosine of phi this will be the p average now these two are the rms values root mean square values so now let's see for which case now uh, we've already solved the first part in which we had to calculate the uh, we have to derive the expression for the average power dissipated now we will be uh, talking about the conditions in which no power is dissipated and the condition in which maximum power is dissipated so let's see what can be the minimum and the maximum value of this power dissipated so this is also equal to v uh, v i can write it as i into uh, i into resistance that is impedance in this case so this can also be written as i square z cos of phi so the the minimum value that you can get let's talk about the first case that is the minimum case and the maximum case so the minim minimum will occur when cos of phi will be equal to 0 and maximum will occur when cos phi will be equal to 1 so now let's talk about the minimum case so in the minimum case we can say that the power power dissipated is nothing but 0 and when will it uh, when will this be 0 obviously this will be 0 when when they uh, when we will have a when we will not have any resistance we will only have a component that means phi should be equal to pi by 2 now when will phi be equal to pi by 2 when there is no resistance it is a pure lc circuit so this will happen for a pure lc circuit that means there is no resistance uh, there is only inductance and capacitance that is when uh, the current that will flow will be known as wattless current because there is no power so power is me measured in watts so we can say the current that will flow will be wattless current in this case that is the best way to describe this part that when it will be a pure LC circuit that is when the uh, value of phi you will get it as 0 using the phasers when there is no resistance and you only have xc and xl obviously the angle between uh, the phase difference would be pi by 2 and that is when you can say that it's a pure lc circuit there is no resistance and the current is wattless current and there is a minimum uh, power dissipated now let's talk about when when will it be maximum power dissipated now for maximum power dissipated obviously the angle should be if cos phi is 1 the, ang uh, the phi angle should be 0 degrees or zero radians so for zero radians it has to be a pure resistive circuit so we can write here this is the case of pure resistive circuit and in this case the power dissipated will be maximum and that maximum power dissipated will be equal to i square into z so this will be the maximum power so these are the two cases we had to describe uh, in the in this question so this is how we would answer our question uh, explaining the minimum uh, scenario and the maximum scenario that will be the answer to our question